Hey Taurus, hey Taurus, it's Christelle here with the a general reading for the month of July. We just saw the moon love readings and this is for the month of July. You'll see that I'll be using this deck which is a Lenormand Oracle deck. It's a it's called the Mystical Lenormand. This is the style of the deck. And I'll be using a um I'll be spreading a mini grand tableau. For those um, readers out there, it will be the inside square of a 36 grand tableau. So let's take a look at that and I'll show you those cards afterwards. Okay. See, first card, we have the mountain, the woman, the ring, the man, the stars, the child, the cross, Clouds, the rider, the scythe, the bouquet, the lilies, the heart, the key, the birds, and the fox. Okay, so first we'll go and look at each week in July. I know there are 31 days and it doesn't correspond exactly to four weeks, but when I say week, I give or take a couple of days, of course. So let's see, the first week is not going to be as easy as we think between a uh, man and a woman, actually, who um, are bond. They, they are a bond. There is a bond between them. They could be married. They could be engaged. But there is difficulty there. Even though I see um, that they're guided to stay together, they're guided to be communicating together. This is the first week. Let's take a look at the second. And the second seems to me that there is a, an idea between these people, Taurus, that um, perhaps we should start once again. Perhaps we should start again. Um, or it is an, a start. It is a new start, but it is rough going. It is rough going. Now, granted, these difficulties are going to dissipate just like clouds, towards the mid, um, towards mid month. Now, the difficulty here lies in the fact that, uh, one party would l like to end it while the other would like to continue or even get it to another level. And this ladies and gentlemen, Taurus friends is the key of difficulty this month. Now, the third week we have here is that there might be a, a stopping in the communication between these people or a cutoff in the communication, misinterpretation. Um, however, there is to be gained from this, ladies and gentlemen, Taurus friends, a certain sense of maturity, maturity. And this is what comes from this. It's not bickering. It's just a misinterpretation. The exchange of communication is not great. Um, and what I uh, like here about it is that what is at stake is indeed an engagement, is indeed their relationship. It is indeed a strong bond. It is indeed their marriage, but it will be, uh, it will create nervous tension on both parties. Um, what else is in store for you, Taurus? Well, towards the end of the month, the fourth week here, 
we're, uh, as I said before, the matters of the heart is uh, fundamental, are fundamental for you, Taurus, in this uh, month. It also is um, a month where you would like to get those issues and put them away because you're really interested in your work. You're really interested in what's going on in your work. And especially, well, one uh, party of this couple especially um, is trying as hard as they can to become mature in the sense of letting each other have their own space and letting each other walk in their own shoes and letting each other, other stand on their own two feet. But what is suffering, especially if this, these two people, Taurus, have a business together, that's going to create tension, a lot of tension. So let, let's look at the different houses, as we call them in Lenormand speak. In terms of endings and beginnings, it's difficult. Um, you don't want to see that happen. You really can't even think of it. It's as if you... Um, cannot imagine a life without them or cannot imagine doing something without them. Um, now, of course, the surprises uh, in life exist, even for you in July, and the, one of the parties will be the surprise. Um, it will be a female, I believe, that will be surprising you for like sex marriage. It will be one of them one of you. Um, what also is a very, very um, strong, strong possibility and likelihood is this ending of a an engagement. It is the ending of a of that strong, strong bond or the powerful uh, bond that is created by paperwork, you know, by a marriage, by a contract, things like that. Also, there is an ending to a contract for those of you in work. Um, you may have to look elsewhere for work and you, Taurus, will be putting on your thinking cap. I see this ending to, um, to work as being prominent, but, um, I do see also other, um, other prospects coming in for those of you who are ending a work relationship. Now, in matters of, um, of oral communications, this is a difficulty for one of the two parties. It really is. And um, I'm, it's coming out as a male energy of the, of the two uh, people. Of course, in like, um, like gender um, relationships, it is a male voice that is com com coming out nonetheless. And what I'm seeing is that that person um, has difficulty. They should hold their tongue. Okay. This is what I'm saying. It might be you or it might be the other party. They, you need to hold your tongue. Literally the, um, the oral communication will be the difficulty in July. Then I have here, uh, things to do with work and livelihood. You'll be guided no matter what the outcome of losing a job, if you lose a job or, or something similar, you will have guidance in terms of where to look for another uh, job. And this is crucial for you in the month of July, to tell you the truth. Now, there's also uh, the idea of sense of security, you, this sense of security that um, that exists for all of us. Well, you know, Taurus, what I'm seeing for you for the month of July is, um, a starting, there is a starting, um, point in July for you where you're going to start feeling secure either because there's a network, a work network, work, which is strong around you or for another reason, but you do feel strong and you have a net of safety and a sense of security. What I'm getting here as well is that you more than perhaps other signs of the Zodiac this month needs to try the best you can to contact guides. You need guidance, but not the kind of guidance that uh, could be in the hands of a therapist or a consultant, things like that. You need to contact your guides. This is important. This is what the reading is telling me. And, um, as to home matters of the home, there are a, a few difficulties there, but nothing that 
an um, open uh, communication, but be careful if you're a male, hold your tongue at times. That can, um, th- nothing that a c- good communication will not solve here. Um, now, public life, um, you, Taurus, in relation to public life, you are a person that's out there. You're the, you're the one who gives news to others. You're the one who, um, takes a megaphone and shouts. It's, it's as if you, you, how can I put it? You communicate the news to others in the public. Hey, you know, um, Mr. Smith, I saw that you were interested in this and this and this. Well, you know, you could find that on Browertown Road. That's an example. And you make connections in the public life. Obstacles. Now, obstacles, the month of July, will be radicate, just cut to the ground. Any strong obstacles aren't going to get in your way. Um, and uh, decisions, this is the area, the area of decision-making is where you will truly be gifted because you will not have any difficulties in that. Nuisances, nuisances and problems. You're going to use your wisdom for the small stuff. So I'm not worried about that. I'm not um, too worried about that. There's in the um, house here of hidden, something hidden. Well, there are matters of the heart that are being hidden from you, Taurus, or that you hide from others. So you might want to think about that. Um, Communication in writing. Communication in in writing is where you are best suited, where you get the most out of. If you have to opt between the uh, oral and the written communication, go for the written. Now, uh, male influences in your life will be very nervous. Uh, They will be giving, making you nervous, other males or a male in particular, but, um, again, uh, count to 10 really, and use that same maturity that you are, will be using to counter nuisances the month of, of July. And in terms of female influences, you, there is a sly fox there. There's a sly fox that, um, knows what she's doing. So you might want to watch your back against, um, this person. Now I'm going to cast the runes and I always tell people it would be a good thing for you to watch this at the end of the month, after the month has, has, um, finished in order for you to see how it played out, but also watch it again to understand it a little better because there's a low, there's a real lot of information here. Okay. Let's see. I've got Isa here right off the bat and Isa is ice. Uh, there is a cooling down on, in relationships and we got that all right. This is a nameless, faceless rune, weird, and weird is always a rune that is that signals something faded and something that you may not know or hear about, but it is coming. Um, weird does talk about other love coming in. Um, weird does talk to, to giving an exchange, change, having an exchange with someone. And in this case, it could be someone new. I have here Wunyo, unfortunately, who is, who <laughs> personified it, who, what it, that is, um, Merck Stave and Wunyo is joy and happiness usually. And in this position, there are going to be those clouds that I mentioned and the, the possibility of being strained, feeling a little bit of anxiety, but it passes quickly. Then we have here Hagal Hagalas. Now, Hagal Hagalas is always a rune that talks about, um, delays. Okay. Talks about delays. Um, I have to say that there will be, okay, there will be delayed. There'll be delays in making, um, decisions of separating or not of uh, putting someone on the back burner or not of trying to give them less importance or not. And this also holds true in terms of your work. 
making decisions is not going to be easy at all unless you are able to understand that from a mature perspective. Then I have here uh, Manats. And Manats is a rune, it's Merck's Dave here. It usually talks about a couple of, of interdependence, um, of you receiving aid. But it looks like now is the time to make new plans. It You will not, uh, this is, you don't have protection in terms of your relationship, a uh, romantic relationship or an emotional relationship with someone. You don't, you're not protected there. Um, I have here... Urus. Now, Urus talks of um, vital strength energy, okay? You're strong, and uh, there is no doubt about that. You have a net of safety and a, a sense of strong sense of security, as I mentioned before. Um, here also, this is recovery from illness, especially for males. It is the Taurus energy, uh, Taurus. This is a Taurus energy and it talks about strong emotions. You know, you have to be careful not to let these strong emotions turn into anger, especially this month. And uh, Uros talks um, to a sacrifice. They ask you, uh, the runes are asking you, Uros is asking you to sacrifice something, no matter how big or how small in order for you then to be able to give thanks and move on during the month. I have here Thurisats, and Thurisats is protection. Thurisats is, is, um, is um, luck. And Thurisats also is a very difficult rune to read, but it's a, a rune that tells you, look, there's a strong fire here burning, okay? You, ha you are a passionate person, but... We can help you so much. This is what um, what uh, the universe is telling you. But try to rein in your passions lest they become anger, like I said before. Then we have Aljits, and Aljits is a usually a fortunate new influence in your life. But I'm looking at it as being Merck Dave. It's upside down. So what does it say? It says that um, there is a an emphasis on on um, on friendships and when and right before you feel the anger swelling do contact friends and they will pull you right out of that then i've got here ingvats and ingvats is very very um lucky for us because ingvats is all about um a successful conclusion, some relief. And it also can signal a milestone in your life, Taurus, because it is the time where you can decide that, you know, I'm going to change my life around. All right, this is the way I acted before July 2020. And this is, however, how I'm going to act from now on. Now, we've got here Gifu, and Gifu is such a lovely rune because it talks about gifts and it is an important it talks about an important development in a romantic relationship be it getting to the next level an engagement or else something else or even separating separation that will uh why i'm saying it is an important um development because that is the best development according to the universe for you. So you know, Gifu does tell you that something vital is going to be happening to your relationship, your romantic relationship. And here I have Lagos and or Lagus. Now, Lagos Lagus is a very particular rune. And usually a lot of uh, runes casters will, te will tell you, well, this is a smooth sailing. Okay. It's smooth sailing, but it's emotions. It's, a, it, it plays to emotional energy. It's intuitive knowledge. Um, and it's everything female, uh, female energy. What is important for you, Taurus, is that this is a rune of memory, of retrieving memory, of age old memory, of past life memory that you can draw on to make and help you make decisions today. So 
you know, if you are a person who um, has been practicing meditation, this is a good time to try to focus on that specifically. I do hope this was of help, Taurus friends. And do write below your stories because it would really help us to read other people's uh, and exchange stories, which are really what makes life so special. Namaste, ladies and gentlemen, and I'll be back. Have fun for the month of July.